Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and I wanted to do this week's focus. Today is April 6th, and it is week 14 of Finding 52, but week 15 of the year. Um, I wanted to do the focus uh, this week on goals. Uh, we just started the second quarter, and I know a lot of us are struggling with our goals and things that we had planned at the beginning of the year are not, you know, either coming to fruition or they're unable to be done or you're just kind of at a loss to what is where you're going to be. Uh, those of you who watched my uh, recap of the first quarter know that it was, it was very hard for me to go through and, and just literally cross off goals and things that I can't get done. Um, one of the goals that Greg and I had set for this year is to uh, travel to Costa Rica. That's not gonna happen, you know, and we understand that. And that's just a goal that we'll put off for next year. Gives us more time to save, all of that. Um, you know, and, and, and folks were like, well, you don't know what's gonna happen at the end of the year. Well, I understand that I don't know, but I also know that with the different warnings and things of, you know, all of this coming back about at the end of the year during winter, like I, I really don't want to risk it. And so I would much rather, you know, wait until the better time uh, next year to go. We were all supposed to, we were also supposed to travel to Virginia in May and that's not going to happen. Um, so going through my goals, uh, trying to figure out what I could do and then setting up goals for the second quarter, I'm like, I don't even know what's gonna happen in the second quarter. So what I've done is I've gone through and set up a few goals for, for April and that's it. I am, I am a goals driven person and anybody that's watched this channel for any amount of time knows that. I need something to strive for, to, to help me be accountable, to stay on track, to have something further to reach for. And that's kind of where this week's focus is. It's not on, you know, wildly, you know, ginormous goals. Set one goal. I don't care if it's a weekly goal, if it's, you know, every two weeks or for the month. Something that you feel like you can achieve and attain. Uh, the goals that I set for April for me were uh, to run 60 miles during the month, which is simply two miles a day. Because there's 30 days in April. If I run two miles a day, there you go. Uh, I wanna hit 10 steps, or 10, 10, 10,000 steps every day. So far, I've done that. I want to read 30 minutes a day. And I want to do either yoga, TRX, or strength training three times a week. Last week, that did not happen. And that's okay. It is something that I want to incorporate this week. And the reason I'm okay with it is because last year, or last year, last week, I was still kind of grappling with what I was even going to do. So this week... That is my one single goal, is to incorporate something else into my weekly training. Um, and it can be yoga, it can be watching a yoga video and following the moves. It is, um, I have my home gym downstairs and I'm, I'm working on getting that set up to where I could just go in, do whatever I wanna do and get it done and get out. So, and, and I will, hopefully uh, do you like a little uh, home gym tour. Uh, but I have a TRX set up, which is the, the pulley system that was set up, uh, which was created by the Navy SEALs. So I have one of those. I also have my kickboxing uh, bag downstairs that I do sword work on and I have a variety of weights. I have a sit-ups machine. Uh, I even have a, uh, a an elliptical, but we were getting rid of that because it kind of, it sometimes shorts out. And so Greg's like, yeah, let's not do that. 
And so I'm just going to give it away to somebody um, that knows more about electronics than we do. So, um, and I got it sec secondhand from my older brother. So it's not like we're out anything. Anyway, tangent. Um, so that is where we're at is I, I you know, <laughs> some of the goals that I have set for myself for this month are very small. Get up, take a shower on the, at the same time. You know, don't sleep in. You know, maintain a constant bedtime and wake up time. Take a shower every morning. Put on fresh pajamas. You know, whatever I'm going to wear during the day. Do your hair. Uh, my my finding 52 of last for last week. Um, I actually did yesterday. I, my hair is making me crazy. Y'all know that even on a good day, my hair makes me crazy, but my bangs and everything are getting too long. So I, I don't want to cut them myself. So I'm having to just like curl them so that they can kind of live where they aren't making me nuts. But yesterday I was, I, I was done. I had not worn makeup in almost three weeks. And I'm like, you know what? I need to feel better about myself. And so I put on makeup. I did my hair. I curled my hair. I did uh, like beach curl rings all over just to see what that would look like. And I like this much better than what I did yesterday. After my walk, I looked like a crazy Medusa kind of person. I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> but I'm going to try different things to help me maintain the stability in my hair and not cut it. Um, hopefully. Uh, so I guess that could be a mini goal. Don't cut my hair. Don't cut your hair at home. <laughs> you will regret it. I promise. Um, but, you know, to do laundry every day, to wash my sheets every more or every Monday. And so little things like that, that little goals that I can achieve every week is keeping me going. I, I need that. I need that structure to keep me going. So this week's focus is to find one goal. I don't care, like I said, I don't care if it's a weekly goal, if it's a monthly goal, if it's a daily goal, whatever. Try to find one goal that you can achieve during the time frame that you wanna set it, but have a goal. Do something outside of the norm that will make you be able to just go, you know what, I'm checking that box off. I, I achieved that goal. I achieved whatever it is in April because that I think will help a lot of us in getting back to, you know, the little things and finding structure and getting back to normal, whatever that might be. Um, I last, like I said last week, I kind of went off the rails and um, yesterday, last night, I was gaming and we had pizza for dinner and I had my last two cans of Coke and I am done. <laughs> I am putting that back on the table as no more Coke is in this house because I can't control it. It, you know, I've said this many times, it is something that I have no control over. And I, I stressed a lot when, you know, the earthquakes hit and all of that. And I'm okay with that. But I'm also okay with going back cold turkey and be like, okay, we had that, you know, 24 pack of cans of Coke in the house. I did not limit myself. I'm just like, okay. And, and I looked at it this morning. I'm like, when did I buy that? How long did it take me to go through a 24 pack? I bought it March 24th. And last night on the 5th was the um, last time I had it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 11 days. It took me 11 days to get through a 24 pack. And that right there will tell you where that extra seven pounds came from, right there. So I made the conscious choice to set it as a goal, not having it for the rest of April, and hopefully be cold turkey again for the rest of the year. 
but I'm allowing myself just be like March is a wash. <laughs> Everything kind of went to hell in a handbasket, so we're good. <laughs> so those are my goals. Um, I, you know, I'm not even going to really relook my yearly goal. I mean, other than my savings goals, which I'm still doing. Um, I'm not really doing the cash envelopes because I'm not going anywhere. And most of the places right now don't even take cash. I am tracking all my budget and all of that. But having little goals, even as simple as the four that I had, you know, with my running and exercise and all of that, it feeds into keeping me on the rails. <laughs> I, I need that structure. I need something to look forward to every day. I need something that will push me in a way um, as far as my health, my exercise, all of that, and will help with my strength. And I, once the, well, once the summer hits, I want to start fighting again. And as far as um, my reenacting fighting, and I have to be prepared for that. Um, I can't go to fight a practice because we're not allowed to have those. So everything that I'm doing will also help with that, but it'll also help me maintain my weight, my, my sanity, everything. So try to find a goal that will help you where you're struggling and see if that doesn't change things around a little bit. So like I said, one goal, just, and I, I don't care how long it is, just set one goal this week that you can attain, obtain, or attain, either one, uh, during the month of April. And, you know, whether it's something every week or something every day or whatever, you know, and, and don't worry that it's not the first of the month. You know, I, I used to be kind of OCD about that. And I'm like, no, tomorrow is the full moon. Started on the full moon. You know, if you want to something, you know, kind of a, a structured way to look at it, just in the next lunar cycle, whatever, you know, find something that will help you stay on track and be able to achieve something during this time that a lot of us are so stressed that we can't even contemplate the goals that we have, that we had set back in January. Instead of looking at all of those and going, well, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that, and getting down on that, figure out what you can do and set a goal um, and try to go from there. That's what I am trying to maintain and trying to focus on. And, you know, I never thought in a million years that doing laundry and cleaning my house would be, you know, the biggest goal that I have during a week. But here we are. I also never thought that I would be restricted at home and the only thing that I'm allowed to do is go out and go grocery shopping once a week. So we are all in a situation where we never expected to be. And it's not the new normal. It's the new now for right now. And this week is going to be tough. Uh, a lot of the different, you know, curves and all of that are saying that this week is going to be hard. So be gentle with yourself. Take some time for yourself. Try to find some sort of goal that you can reach. And make it as simple as you can so that you can attain it. And, you know, try to figure out things that are, are good for you. You know, I, I am going to try to reach out to all my family uh, this week and just touch base with them and see how they're doing, uh, which is a hard thing sometimes, especially if you have strained relationships, but I'm going to try. So do the best you can and see what you can come up with. And if you're setting a goal, let me do it down below, um, you know, if you, if you want to what it is and um, don't forget to check out the Facebook group as well. I will prob I'm trying to find um, a way to do a Zoom call this week, probably on Thursday, um, so that other people can join. 
and instead of just me doing a Facebook Live. So we'll go from there, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, um, I hope you guys have a great week and that you guys are all staying safe and healthy and doing the best you can. You know, we're all in this together. And, you know, I know it's hard, but we've gotten through harder things and we can do this. Okay, I love you guys. And as always, you know, spend the rest of your life celebrating because it is worth every minute, especially now. And reach out to those that you love and check on them. Okay, have a good day and I will talk to you soon.